Hey there everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Fixing the Camera. Single and placing. <laughs> Hi, I hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, week, month, evening, morning, overnight, all of that good stuff. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, sorry, I'm just clicking on things real quick here so I have some information for you. Okay. So we are here as part of a series of unboxings that I'm doing um, throughout um, April and I'm guessing part of May too, um, of a bunch of Jada Gem Shop kits that I picked up in celebration of or to commemorate the Jaded Jamboree 2024 event that I am co-hosting with Jade over at Jaded Gem Shop. So um, yeah, I wanted to do some unboxings of some special edition um, kits that um, Jade Jaded Gem Shop released. Uh, I got to select five of my fa either favorite old masters or old masters that I was really wanting to see as diamond paintings. And Jade picked five and did a special 10 kit release uh, kind of to commemorate the Jaded Jamboree. So um, this is one that I selected and I'm very excited to share it with you. Um, there's a little bit of a, not a long story, a little bit of a story behind this one. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the thumbnail for this or the little mini. This is Tree of Life by Gustav Klimt. Woo! Yay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the box is excited too, apparently. Um, yeah, I am super thrilled about this kit. Um, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and say, oh, the Jada Jamboree. It's a diamond painting event that's running from April 1st through May 31st, celebrating all things Jaded Gem Shop. So if you have a kit from Jaded Gem Shop, either a whip or you have a new start or one that just came in, and it's between the months of April and May of 2024, you can still join in and participate using the hashtag Jaded Jamboree 2024 on Instagram, or you can head over to the All Things Jaded Gem Shop Facebook group and share your progress or whatever Jaded Gem Shop kit you're working on over there as well. So I'll just go ahead and mention that. Um, but this image is, or this artwork is one that I picked because um, I loved working on Lady, um, was it not, was it Lady with a Fan? It must have been. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Lady with a Fan um, for last year's Summer with the Masters. I worked on that from Gustav Klimt um, and Diamond Dots. And I really fell in love with not only the yellows and golds, but the pops of color that were within that image. And so I became a big fan of Gustav Klimt. I learned a lot about him as an artist last year working on that diamond painting. And so... Um, I've been just kind of keeping an eye out for other Gustav Klimt images that come out that catch my fancy. Of course, you have Woman in Gold is a really popular one. The Kiss is a really popular one. Um, but the Tree of Life um, popped up on my radar because it was released um, from another shop, Diamond Dots, as part of their Masterclass series of kits. Um, but the thing that kind of had me bummed, and I mentioned this, um, I think in a previous vlog, I mentioned this, that I was kind of bummed that they had done a pretty extreme crop of the original image, and they pulled out a lot of the fun colors and some fun details and imagery that I, I was like, well, you got rid of some of the, you know, some of the more, in my opinion, some of the more cool stuff, obviously, you still have the tree, but we're missing some of the subjects and some other pieces. So while I really love, I really liked that image and was considering picking up that kit, I thought to myself, I, my money would probably be better spent asking Jade if she can put together a rendering of the full image and, um, and see what that looks like because I, I don't want to miss out on some of this stuff. So lo and behold, when we were talking about the idea of doing this collaboration uh, release, this was one of the pieces of artwork that I was like, I would love for you to do this one because I feel like um, it, it missed the mark for me the last time I saw this released by another shop. So here we are. Um, this 
kit can come in a number of different sizes. It's completely up to you and what you want to do. Um, you've got three diff uh, four different size options here. You can pick round or square, um, but it looks like all of them will be the full size image. I'm sure you could reach out to Jade and see if she'd be willing to do a crop for you, but all the sizes are the full, um, full image, original image. So inside the uh, box, we got a little carrot. Uh, uh, carrot cover minder. We also have our jade shade washi tape. And I got this in round and I got this in, I don't know what size, um, 80 by 130. Holy oh, Anthony, what the heck? <laughs> 80 by 130. I think that's the largest size it comes in. I think I went that big because I wanted to get this in round. And one of the reasons I wanted to get it in round is because as you can see, we're gonna have a lot of those peaches and gold hues, but we're seeing some bags of like fuchsias and pinks and bright greens and bright reds. So we're gonna get these nice pops of color here and there that I really think tie the full image together as opposed to a crop, um, but I got rounds because I was thinking this might be one that I doll up with some sparklers or enhancement drills similar to um, what I did with a uh, lady with a fan. So there's your drills. I'm not going to go through all the DMCs because sometimes the DMCs are in different bags, same DMC in different bags. So I might be repeating a lot of DMCs. Um, so just for the sake of time, here's your color spread here. We've got some browns, some peaches, some golds, some tans. Um, some kind of butternut colors, but then we also, once again, like I said, have these nice pops of pink and blue and red here and there, which I think are is really gonna bring this whole thing together. Um, now, with a kit this size, oh, sorry, I always do this. There's gonna be something else in here. Aha. Okay, I, I didn't reveal it to myself totally yet. <laughs> So we also have some double-sided release paper here that you can cut into different sizes if you so choose. And then we have our larger sticker sheet. So here's a larger look at that original image there. And then it looks like we're working with 58 colors here. These are all pre-cut sticker sheets, which is awesome. So yeah. Okay, so this is a big old landscape style image. And it looks like it's gonna go this way. I'm just gonna roll it out. It seems like these jaded gem shop kits with this really nice canvas don't necessarily need to be rolled back on themselves every time. And of course I'll be doing a pan over of this because it's gonna be too big to fit in camera. How cool, the detail, the detail Jade, amazing as always. This is, gonna be a project, holy moly, <gasps> yay! Oh, it looks so good, it looks so good. Okay, you haven't seen the whole thing. Let me try to, uh, let's see. Is that, is that better, everyone? Okay, I think that looks good. Well, I'll reveal the end of it, but it's just too, too long for this table. Um, so the Tree of Life, 1905 from Gustav Klimt. This is round drill. Um, 80 by 130 centimeters. This is gonna look so good. Now that I see this, these colors, I might even do, anyway, we'll talk about it. Okay, so um, there's part of it. I'm gonna scroll you over. Um, so like I said, I've seen this done before as a crop. And although it was, um, it was done in, a, um, that one was done in a portrait style. So it was just a really long part of the actual tree itself. Um, but we were missing out on this subject and all of the colors coming down here. We were also missing out on these two subjects over here. Um, hopefully you can see those now. So we, we, we're just missing a lot of the, I felt like a little bit of the emotion, a little bit of the life of the tree of, you know, part of the, the tree of life. And I can't wait to do a deeper dive and learn the story and the messaging behind this art, uh, this artwork. But I thought just having the tree itself and missing these the figures on either end, I felt like it was an incomplete story. Um, but like I said, a lot of browns and golds and kind of butternut colors, but we get these nice little hits 
of pinks and blues and purples that I think are just going to look so, so good. Um, so yeah, I think this is, this is gorgeous, Jade. This one is spectacular looking. I can't stop staring at it. It's one of those pieces of artwork that you're just like, you have to like give it a minute to see, like to let it soak in. You know what I mean? How cool is that? It looks so good in camera too. This is gonna look beautiful on a wall. I just don't know. Oh, looking around. I don't know if we have a wall big enough for this in the house right now that's free. <laughs> All everything, I guess I could pull down. In the kitchen, we have these, these kind of like TJ Maxx um, kind of, they're just, it, I think they either came with the house when they rented it or a previous roommate left, abandoned them on the wall. So those might need to come down. It's just like a globe or a picture, world map picture cut up into three panels. And this is much better than that. <laughs> oh, yay. This is going to look so good. Um, so uh, first things first, or, you know, a few things that I'm noticing, we have, we have some decent chunks of what I'd call color blocking for a Jaded Gem Shop kit um, here in some of these areas. Uh, a, a lot through here, a decent-ish decent amount through here, but not like huge swaths of color blocking. This is gonna be a pretty confetti, a fairly confetti-focused kit, which is pretty typical for Jaded Gem Shop, um, depending on the render, or depending on the image. Um, the other thing that can sometimes be difficult when you go to enhance kits like this is, um, is, is wanting to know like where you should enhance. So I might ask Jade for some help on some suggestions for this one to make sure that I'm making some good choices with enhancement drills when I go to do that. Um, but symbol clarity looks really good. Um, let me look at the legend here. Um, no, no out of the ordinary symbols. This looks all pretty straightforward for Jaded Gem Shop. Blue's always gonna be nice and sticky. Canvas is nice and thick, soft, yet sturdy. And um, cover plastic is thick, but not too thick, which I really like. Um, sorry, I'm really, I'm really blown away by this image. I get out of all of the ones that I've unboxed or that I purchased from our, our collaboration, this is the one that's leaving me the most speechless. This is awesome. Wow, wow, wow. Huh. This is like something that I would want to like get professionally framed, but I know it would be an arm and a leg to get that done. <laughs> so I'll probably still paint the border like I usually do, but this one is absolutely professionally frame worthy. This is stunning. It just goes to show like sometimes a crop, a cropped image totally makes sense. And if that's what you're looking for is, is that crop or a, the focus on a specific part of a, of a piece of artwork, then absolutely go for it. Sorry if you hear crunching. Um, we're cat sitting right now and she is eating her food on the windowsill in front of me. So <laughs> hi baby. Um, and Apollo has been um, wanting to um, not harass her, but he likes to like get in her business and see what she's doing and stuff. And so he's laying facing opposite way um, on the other side of the room and he hasn't noticed that she's in here yet. So I'm going to try to keep it that way so she can have some peace while she eats her lunch. Um, but anyway, um, what was I saying? Okay, so yes, when it comes to cropping, sometimes it absolutely makes sense to fo hone in on a specific focal point. Maybe it decreases the amount of detail that will be necessary, so a kit might be a little bit easier to complete, or the rendering might be, look a little bit better as a crop, but this is an instance where I feel like you you got to see the whole thing. you got to see the whole thing. There's so much going on, like here and over, and like here and over, that you, it just really brings it all, brings it all home, Gustav. <laughs> Mr. Clint. <laughs> This is fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna stop gushing over this one. This is, this might be my favorite of all of them so far. We'll see. 
Um, I've got one more to unbox, so we'll see what that looks like. But anyway, um, okay, so once again, this is The Tree of Life by Gustav Klimt. I got this in the 80 by 130 centimeter round drill, and this has 50, 58 colors, and I'll most likely be enhancing this one uh, with some uh, probably sparklers from DP with sparklers, we'll see, but probably some pinks, fuchsias, blues, some greens. Maybe I'll pick one of the gold hues to do as um, as a gold um, sparkler or something like that. But I think this one, there's a lot of opportunity here to dress this up. I just have to be strategic about it. So, all right. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I encourage you to participate in the Jaded Jamboree if that's... Oh. Sorry, I wanted to make sure. He doesn't necessarily chase her. He just follows her around, but she's she's a little skittish and I don't um this is the first time her and Apollo have met and she's here for like 3 weeks, I think. So, he better get used to it. And he's actually a little skittish around her too. He just kind of investigates her. Um but there she's a sweetheart. He's very nice too, but I want her to be able to live her own life. So she came down and grabbed some lunch and then I think she ran back upstairs to go sleep some more. So anyway, sorry. Um, okay, so yeah, if I encourage you to participate in the Jada Jamboree um, if, if it's still during the event at the time that you see this. And um, yeah, you can use the code during the months of April and May of 2024. You can use the code Jada Jamboree 20 over on the Jada Gem Shop site to not only get 20% off of this kit, but you can get 20% off of um, any other kit that you might see on the site um, now through the end of the event. So let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you think of this one. I will do a pan over of this at the end. Um, otherwise, thanks so, uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take some value out of it. Otherwise, happy placing. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.